The Sokotai Kingdom, was an early kingdom in the area around the city Sokotai, in north-central Thailand. The kingdom existed from 1238 until 1438. The old capital, now 12 kilometers outside Sokotai in Tambun Muang Kao, is in ruins and has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Historical Park. Chapter 1 Etymology Sukhothai or Suhodaya is derived from Sanskrit Sukha plus Udaya, meaning dawn of happiness. Chapter 2 History Chapter 3 Section 1 Khmer Era Originally, Sukhothai was a Khmer outpost named Suhodaya. During the reign of Khmer Empire, the Khmers built some monuments there, several of them survived in Sukhothai historical parks such as the Ta Fa Dien Shrine, Wet Prafai Luong, and Wet Sisawai. About some 50 km north of Sukhothai is another Khmer military outpost of Si Sachanalai or Sri Sejanalaya. In the mid 13th century, the Thai tribes led by Si Indradit rebelled against the Khmer governor at Suhodaya and established Sukhothai as an independent Thai state and remained the center of Thai power until the end of the 14th century. Chapter 3 Section 2 Liberation from Khmer Empire Prior to the 13th century, Thai kingdoms had existed in the northern highlands including the Ngoanyang Kingdom of the Thai Yuan people, and the Hiakum Kingdom of the Thai Lu people. Sakotai had been a trade center and part of Lavo, which was under the domination of the Khmer Empire. The migration of Thai people into the upper Jiao Priya Valley was somewhat gradual. Two friends, Pho Khun Bang Lang Ho and Pho Khun Pha Muang revolted against the Khmer Empire governor of Sukhothai. Khun, before becoming a Thai feudal title, was a Thai title for a ruler of a fortified town and its surrounding villages, together called a Muang, in older usage prefixed by Pho Father. Bang Lang Ho ruled Sukhothai as Sri Indra Daitya, and began the Praruang dynasty, he expanded his primordial kingdom to the bordering cities. At the end of his reign in 1257, the Sakotai kingdom covered the entire upper valley of the Jiao Priya River, the generic Thai name for rivers. Traditional Thai historians considered the foundation of the Sakotai kingdom as the beginning of their nation because little was known about the kingdoms prior to Sakotai. Modern historical studies demonstrate that Thai history began before Sakotai. Yet the foundation of Sakotai is still a celebrated event. Chapter 3 Section 3 Expansions under Ram Kveng Pho Khun Ban Muang and his brother Ram Kham Hang expanded the Sakotai kingdom. To the south, Ram Kveng subjugated the kingdom of Supanabam, and Sri Thamnakorn and, through Tambralinga, adopted Theravada, as state religion. Traditional history described the extension of Sakotai in a great fashion, and the accuracy of these claims is disputed. To the north, Ramkveng put Phrae and Muang Sua under tribute. To the west, Ramkham Hang helped the Mon under Woyeru to free themselves from pagan control and established a kingdom at Martaban Kingdom. So, Thai historians considered the kingdom of Martaban a Sakotai tributary. However, in practice, such Sakotai domination may not have extended that far. With regard to culture, Ram Kham Hang requested the monks from Sri Thamnakorn to propagate the Theravada religion in Sakotai. In 1283, the Thai script was invented by Ram Kveng, formulating into the controversial Ram Kveng steel discovered by Mongkut 600 years later. It was also this time that the first relation with Yuan dynasty was formulated and Sakotai began sending trade missions to China. The well-known exported good of Sakotai was the Sankalok, the only period that Siam produced Chinese-styled ceramics and fell out of use by the 14th century. Chapter 3 Section 4 Decline and Domination of Ayutthaya By the beginning of the 14th century, the Thai of Sakotai controlled most of present-day Thailand. Only the eastern provinces remained under Khmer control. After the death of Ramkham Hang, the Sakotai tributaries broke away. Ramkham Hang was succeeded by his son Loithai. The vassal kingdoms, first Uttaradit in the north, then soon after the Laotian kingdoms of Luong Prabang and Vientiane, liberated themselves from their overlord. 
In 1319 the Mon State to the west broke away, and in 1321 Lana placed Tak, one of the oldest towns under the control of Sakotai, under its control. To the south the powerful city of Sufanburi also broke free early in the reign of Loithai. Thus the kingdom was quickly reduced to its former local importance only. In 1349, the armies from Utaya kingdom invaded and put Sakotai under her tributary. Then, in 1378, King Luitai had to submit to this new power as a vassal state. In 1424, after the death of Seiluitai, his sons Piaram and Piaban Muang fought for the throne. Entharaka of the Utaya intervened and further divided the kingdom between the two. When Mahathamaraka IV died in 1438, King Bornaraka II of Utaya installed his son Ramasuan as viceroy of Sakotai, presumably accompanied by Airtai and administrative staff and a military garrison, thus marking the end of Sakotai as an independent kingdom. The Silaharuik of Sakotai are hundreds of stone inscriptions that form a historical record of the period. Among the most important inscriptions are Silaharuik Fo Kun Ram Kamhang, Silaharuik Wet Srichum, and Silaharuik Wet Pamamwang. Chapter 3 Section 5 Gradual Merger with the Utaya. It was, however, not simply annexed and incorporated into the Airtayan Empire, rather, did the two mandalas and their traditions gradually merge during the 15th and 16th centuries. Sakotai's warfare, administration, architecture, religious practice and language influenced the Airtayan ones significantly. As the Ayutthaya kingdom, did not yet have a centralized administration, the former territories of Sakotai, now termed as the northern cities or Muang Nuiya, continued to be ruled by local aristocrats under Ayutthaya's overlordship. In modern terms, this state may be described as a sort of federation. The most important northern city was now its Sanalor, as Sakotai proper had massively lost importance. Northern nobles linked themselves with the Airtayan elite through marriage alliances and northern military leaders served prominently in Ayutthaya's army as the military tradition of Sakotai was considered to be tougher. From 1456 to 1474, the former territories of Sakotai were the object of a war between Ayutthaya and the northern Thai kingdom of Lan Nar. In 1462 the city-state of Sakotai rebelled against Ayutthaya, and allied itself with its enemy, Lan Nar. During this time, Itsanalo served as the second capital of the Ayutthaya kingdom, and in 1463 King Borom Maitrelo Kanat even moved his residence there, presumably to be closer to the front line. Contemporary Portuguese traders described Ayutthaya and Itsanalo as twin states. Northern nobles descending from old Sakotai's elite often played the role of kingmakers in Ayutthaya succession conflicts. In 1569 Mahat Hamaraka, then governor of Itsanalor and viceroy of the northern cities, who claimed to descend from the old Sakotai dynasty, ascended the Airtayan throne. After the Battle of Situng River in 1583, Nareswan, then upper Raja of Ayutthaya and ruler of Itsanalor, forcibly relocated people from the northern cities of Itsanalor, Sakotai, Faikai, Soankarlok, Kampengfet, Pichit, and Prabang to the region surrounding Ayutthaya. Chapter 3 – Kings Chapter 4 – Historiography The story of Sakotai was incorporated into Thailand's national history in the late 19th century by King Mongkut, Rama IV, as a historical work presented to the British diplomatic mission. King Mongkut is considered the champion of Sakotai narrative history based on his finding the number one stone inscription, the first evidence telling the history of Sakotai. From then on, as a part of modern nation building process, modern national Siamese or Thai history comprises the history of Sakotai. Sakotai was said to be the first national capital, followed by Ayutthaya, Tonbei, until Ratanakosin or today Bangkok. Sakotai history was crucial among Siam slash Thailand's modernists, both conservative and revolutionary. Rama IV said that he found the first stone inscription in Sakotai, telling story of Sakotai's origin, heroic kings such as Ram Kamhang, administrative system and other developments, considered as the prosperous time of the kingdom. 
Sokotai history became important even after the revolution of 1932. Researches and writings on Sokotai history were abundant. Details derived from the inscription were studied and theorized. One of the most well-known topics was Sokotai's democracy rule. Story of the close relationship between King and his people, vividly described as father-son relationship, the seed of Thai democracy. However the change in ruling style took place when later society embraced foreign tradition, Khmer's Angkor tradition, influenced by Hinduism, and mystic Mahayana Buddhism. The story of Sakotai became the model of freedom. Jit Pu Mizak, a revolutionary scholar, also saw Sakotai period as the beginning of the Thai people's liberation movement from their foreign ruler, Angkor. During military rule, from the 1950s, Sakotai was placed in Thai national curriculum. Sakotai became model of father-son rule, described as Thai democracy, free from foreign ideology, and Korean tradition compared to communism. Other Sakotai aspects were investigated seriously, such as commoner and slave status, and economic situation. These topics, said, were on stage of ideological thoughts fighting during the Cold War and civil insurgency times in 1960 to 1970s.